Hello everybody welcome to my channel today i am going to explain the topic motherboard this motherboard topic should be coming under the typical configuration of computer system and this chapter should be prescribed for the second puc computer science for the students science as well as the commerce so it's a very important topic because that should be appear in your board examination uh, so for two marks question as well as a three to five marks question so the questions be like this so characteristics of motherboard components of motherboard and types of motherboard so like this question should be appear in your examination so let us move uh, what was the what do you mean by motherboard and the concept of the motherboard so motherboard means it's a main circuit board okay without motherboard there is no function should be happened in the computer so that's why it's a very important concept and it is a we call it as a motherboard is a main circuit board in the computer it is a main circuit board why we call it as it is a main why we call it as such important thing because it connect the two different components of the computer and make communication between them so it acts as a platform to combine or connect different components like cpu ram expansion slots graphic cards and perform some specific function so it is a very important thing and it is a platform for all the components so motherboard is a printed circuit board inside the motherboard there is a lot of component symbol should be present for example usb uh, bluetooth so like that several symbols should be present or a printed in the motherboard that's why we call it as a printed circuit board the board is consist of the printed some circuit diagrams so that's why we call it as a printed circuit board so uh, used to connect all the components so it is used to connect all the components and perform some specific task so this is called as the motherboard and inside the motherboard several chips or uh, slots ports should be present in including that there is a some of the chips are very famous the chips like a microprocessor this is a very important and a famous why we call it as a famous because it means very important for the my motherboard so see uh, microprocessor is a small chip so it contains in the motherboard so microprocessor is not only present in the motherboard but also present in all the types or a different types of electric devices in this microprocessor should be present or available and characteristics of motherboard there is a three characters one form factor and second one is chipset and third one is processor socket so what is a form factor it defines continuous or a complete concepts of the uh, motherboard so what are the um, uh, what was the shape of the motherboard and what was the cons consist component should be present in the motherboard so each and everything should be explained in the form factor that's why we call it as a form factor is a specification of motherboard specification is nothing but it's a defines complete structure of the motherboard so it explains the dimension dimensions means uh, so what are the structure motherboard in the form of the uh, whether it is used as a square or a red triangle so which structure motherboard should be uh, available so it available in the different structures so like a square and also red triangle so that explains that dimensions and power supply so it consists of some power supply power supply means there is a um, uh, two types that is ups online ups offline ups like that having a types of power supply that should be used in this motherboard so this concept should be uh, studied in upcoming sessions because uh, so you have to know only what are the elements or what are the concept should be present in the form factors or a motherboard so and it consists of some holes ports and slots in the motherboard because we have to connect some components to the motherboard that's why these uh, ports holes should be present inside the motherboard so this is about the form factor and chipset set means you know in the mathematics set is a collection of elements so we collection of different uh, chips or a different uh, elements we call it as a chipset collection of these are the some uh, devices or the components so by co collection of these types of components we call it as a chipset so it is a designed with a built in circuit built in circuit means what uh, it is a uh, reserved some spaces for the different components to connect and make some perform some functions so by using these components we have some spaces in the motherboard to connection the components so that is called as a built in circuit so why they reserved that ports and slots 
to connect of this um, different components and perform some functions so this is about the chipset so chipset is a simple that means a collection of microchips these are the microchips we can learn these or these microchips in the next upcoming topic like types of uh, components of the motherboard there you can read all these concepts in detail okay let us move last thing is a processor socket it is also one space which was present inside the motherboard to connect the cpu to connect the cpu component so cpu also a component you know the cpu or a processor also called as a component so we have to connect that component into the motherboard so the space which was present inside the motherboard to connect the cpu so that is called as a processor socket socket is a space so we have to connect the processor or cpu to some space that is called as a processor socket you know the thing one surprising thing is these processor socket is the largest socket or a space which was present inside the motherboard the processor socket so this is about the motherboard and the characteristics of motherboard thank you for watching the video so please like and subscribe my channel thank you